Okay, question four, part B. Describe the changes you should make to the corrected algorithm to allow the name of a country to be input and to display only the stored cities from that country. You do not need to rewrite the algorithm. Um, well, we'll talk about the mark scheme in a minute for this. And in the question, they're, they're asking us to describe and they're not asking for the pseudocode to be written. I'd like to think if you did write out the pseudocode correctly that that would fit into the mark scheme somehow but it's best to answer it as they would like to describe and the way to get the marks for this is to go what and where so what are you going to change how are you going to change it and where will it go because they've given us line they've given us line numbers in the pseudocode so we can say between these lines after this line Okay, so um, what I'll do is, um, let's, well, let's just have a look at the, the original algorithm a second. So obviously this, this isn't the corrected one, um, but it'll, it'll be okay to, to do this. So we, are go, we want to be able to enter the name of a country and display the cities for just that country. So actually, we're not going to do anything above line 12 because all of this is just to do with getting the names of the cities into the array so we're only looking at after line 11 <coughs> to um, make our adjustments so we can print out just the cities for a particular country so the first thing we're going to need to do is well i'll write out the pseudocode and if you think it's easier to do this and then describe what and then describe it then do that but you can just go into a description, but I'm going to write out some pseudocode and then we'll talk through it. So what we're going to do is um, just after line 11, we're going to output enter a country and then we'll input country. OK, so that's the country they want to look for. Right, now we've got our loop, so it's for, this is line, currently line 12, for out, assign 1, but in our corrected version, which we just did, it's 50. <clears throat> and what the original version does on line 13 is it just prints out every city and every country. We're only going to print it out if we find a match for the one that was just typed in, stored in sort as country so we need to use an if statement to make a decision so if city out comma two so if you remember that the the country is in element two of um, each of the 50 elements in the big array, we've got two things. The first thing is the um, city, the second thing is the country. So if that equals country, which is what we just typed in, then output. Now I'm going to run out of room, um, so let's. Um, Going to write city, comma, and then um, the name of the array out, comma, one. So that will output the word city, and then from the um, city array out, which is the current element of the 50, and then the first position of that element, which would be the city. Okay, and um, I th think that will do us. So we can uh, do our. I'm just going to do an end if and tidy this up and next out. So um, that will do what we want it to do. What they're after is a description. So what we can do is so going back to the what I've said here, we're looking for what and where. So um, we will say, let's have a look. So um, on the 
line after line 11 ask the user to input input a country use output maybe I should write that in capitals use output to display a message use input to store the answer in a variable called country okay so I think the mark scheme does that in a much shorter way but it doesn't really matter if you find it easier to sort of have an expansive explanation then that's absolutely fine so we've explained that um, right so the loops already part of the code you don't need to make any changes to that but we have made a change inside the loop where we have <coughs> we're using an if statement so let's go ahead and say that so where's that going to go that's going to go um, so we can say between lines uh, 12 and 13 use if to decide if the country input matches the current country the array um, chosen using out okay so I think we just need to say then if there is a match so after the then we've got if there is a match then we're going to output the city if there is a match output the current city um, you could leave line 13 the same because line 13 looking at it does will will output whatever the current country and city is um, it does say display only the stored cities from that country so I guess that's fine it's not doesn't just have to be the city uh, right let's have a look at the mark scheme if we can see it so mark one and we've got we've got up to five and there's seven points so <coughs> add an input to ask for the country so we've said that use input so we'll get that one we said where it's going to go after line 11 or between line 11 and 12 that's fine um, using a new variable so we've said that we've stated that and we've said what the name would be so we've got the three um, and an if statement to check if the current country array element matches the country being searched um, so where have we got here between lines 13 use if to decide if the country input matches the current country in the array so yeah we've we've, we've covered that that's fine and we've said where that's going to go as well um, just looking at the last bit if it does then the output should be then the output in line 13 should be after a then if it does not then check the next element so um, we have said if um, if there is a match output the current city so we have we have said we have said that but um, you can see the idea so they want to know if you have to describe the changes and again it's a common it's become more a common question now um, what and where what will you change and where will you put it you don't need to write out the pseudocode like like I did here that hopefully just helped you 
to sort of look at the description I was writing and match it to what was happening but you could easily just state what you needed to do but you can see you're picking up a couple of the marks just for saying where you're going to make some of these changes so you know it's a fairly straightforward question to to um, have a go at so um, thank you for listening I'll stop this one and then we'll move on to question five <laughs>